Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play. This time it is Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're going to start on this blind-ish playthrough of the game. Why do I say blind-ish? I've already started this playthrough. Unfortunately my PC in my spare location was really up uh, to the task so I decided after five missions to call it quits and wait until I'm back at my home PC. This is where I'm right now and starting the recording. So we got good graphics, we got a powerful machine and we got a blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. We're going to start completely from scratch. I will apply a couple of the learnings that I had from the very limited missions that I have seen and we're diving right into the jungle. So time to start a new game. Um, no, I can take it. You can turn on forgiving mode for a more relaxed experience. Nope, mama ain't raised no soy boy. Uh, so we're definitely going to take the real deal. All saves will be grouped uh, in one uh, playthrough. Hot diamonds. I don't want a... So forgiving mode, no. Dead is dead. Progress is saved automatically, every death is final. Yes, we want that. We are going Mission Impossible. This is uh, Psych and Plays. Jungle Edition. Good, so we're looking at no for uh, no forgiving mode that is that definitely to the bitter end saving the game process uh, during combat is forbidden oh yes leather weapons no downstate uh, mercenaries die when they are at zero hit points i like that i think the last time i had leather weapons off but we're going to play with level uh, leather weapons i still want tutorials because just as i'm learning uh, about the game i hope you are as well be mindful, it's a blind playthrough, so I don't know everything about the game yet. And that means we can learn together. What a nice option. Using left clicks while not in combat. No, targeted um, action camera. Action camera is always used with long range. Yeah, why not? That sounds good. And that sounds like we're starting the game, guys. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Funding, should you need it. My car is here. I have to go. 
I'll have more details for you when we meet. All right. Sounds like a really dire situation. Good. Time to build up our catalog. Time for us to take a look at all of the mercenaries that are available. A couple of them are offline. I like how the game kind of gives you a few randomized starts because some of the mercenaries are offline. For instance, Grizzly last time has not been here and is a decent all-rounder, although he doesn't like to work with Russians. So pointing that out that he and Igor are not very much compatible as Igor would say. The best one um, of all of the mercenaries so far that I've seen was Barry Unger, just an absolute fantastic powerhouse, so we're going to go with him as well. This is Barry Unger. This is about job? Work is not plenty at the moment, so I cannot be particular. I have not worked with you. You are unknown to me. I need more money as insurance I stay alive. Good. We're going to give him a short contract. Offer that because he will take a, a an extra cut um, at the beginning. I wonder though. Seven days. That's plus a thousand. And that's plus a thousand as well. I think the bo uh, the extra money is always in there, so you just gotta suck up that uh, that bullet. We have reached simultaneous agreement. Good, MD. We need uh, so my theory behind. Um, let's do this like a bl really blind playthrough. Um, obviously, I have done that once, so I've skipped over it. But let's just review really quickly what everything is about. So health is the number of hit points you want to that on all of the characters. Agility is number of total AP and free movement. So that's not bad at all for just really um, uh, stealthy m movement and agile characters. Dexterity helps with shooting, but also helps with performing a couple of other tasks like um, breaking through uh, into locks strength is carry capacity so it's actually not too bad but also will help with uh, physical uh, weapons specifically hand to hand and wisdom is an ultra important stat because it allows you to learn faster i've definitely underestimated and slept on this one a very important stat so then these stats you want to have as high as possible so low stats here are a bit of a liability because you kind of end up with needing to needing longer to progress the mercenaries. Leadership um, de defines how fast you can educate others, specifically uh, local troops. So having one or two people with a bit of leadership is definitely helpful. Marksmanship is the most important single stat because you need to clearly kill a lot of enemies. So high marksman is good. And then there are three other stats. Mechanical helps you to uh, spot non-explosive devices, uh, crack, uh, crack doors, but also helps you to repair items. So you want to have at least one person that is good with it. Barry just comes with being good at it, not exceptional, but being good at it on top of everything else, which is great. Explosives helps you to spot um, explosive traps, but also offers you to use explosives in, without failure. And explosives are great. It's just fantastic, which is why I like Barry so much. Uh, medical healing wounds and um, essentially will both in combat and also externally reduce the number of uh, rounds that you need in order to treat wounds and therefore also the number of material that, uh, that you need. Barry has a special ability, so let's um, talk about uh, the perks generally. The first one is a special perk and the other ones are really kind of um, shared perks that everybody really could get. Uh, the special ability for Barry is every week he creates two of these shaped charges and those are super hardcore weapons. I love them a lot. So we definitely would want to use them. He also has a major bonus uh, to... Oh wait, I was misspeaking. All of those perks are individual and everybody, every other perk back here 
is then granted through skill trees. This is an individual unique perk. These are character traits. And then there are um, basically skills that you can uh, get, little skill trees. We're going to cover that in a second. So he will be able to create two charges. He will be able to um, unjam weapons faster, but also have a major bonus in disarming traps, which will be one of the things that we're uh, using him. And is having minor accurate, uh, accuracy bonuses with hopeless attacks. Hopeless attacks are typically attacks where you can't see the enemy. So he is actually quite good with it. On top of that, he gains a free move after throwing grenades or making shotgun attacks. This is not to be underestimated. Actually worked very well. Just throwing something and then being able to just move back into cover. Uh, and he will be the shotgun slash um, just overall explosive guy and yeah no wonder because he is trained with shotguns duh so he's going to be our number one guy number two is going to be the medic um, md who has a lot of stats the other uh, medic that would be available here is fox uh, very different medic so md and fox both have teaching which gives everybody 10% extra XP, which I absolutely like. Fox is more um, the high hidden and surprise kill person, but I don't think from my playstyle it fits very well to do, let the medic do that. I actually want the medic to be further behind. Fox also has dual wielding pistols, great. We might use that later, but I really want the medic to actually be in the back line. Um, so instead, um, MD prevents morale loss, M MD also um, has the chance to inspire everybody, and MD is good at teaching, plus, yeah, well, that doesn't matter, but MD um, essentially has a lot of positive morale traits. Better stats overall, I think uh, a bit higher general stats, specifically more, more even stats and higher wisdom, which I value highly because wisdom is the key for creating more stats over time. Very good at medic, sucks at everything else, and we need to work on uh, the uh, marksmanship. Hi. So, is this a prank call? Last time some mercs contact. Oh wow! Fantastic. Good. We got two of the uh, of the team members hired already, which gives us one more uh, one more option on one more uh, team member maybe two depending um, it needs to be a cheap one so grizzly uh, could be that let's just double check the stats i am more looking for like physical uh, physical stats because this here can be learned but we need um, individuals with at least one speciality and we have medical covered we have explosives covered I would like mechanical to be covered as well so it's going to be either live wire or Kalia here you could also go with steroid uh, but I think we're just going with that so my fundamental disagreement with uh, with uh, Kalina here always has been she's good as at um, mechanical and she brings a lot to the table also with good marksmanship and she has decent leadership so she has used a lot of points on that side and that comes at the disadvantage of her physical stats right so we want someone with a good mechanical knowledge and she isn't even that good of a mechanic if you compare Barry uh, he is worse but not that much worse than she is uh, we got a really good mechanic with life wire worse in marksmanship also good medical backup if needed so that wouldn't be too bad and I think the stats are also good she has better wisdom both of them suck at strength, uh, so we need to work around that. But since I want her to be in the background, that's not the worst. Um, this is a really good option for a sniper. Range attacks uh, that bypass damage reduction from armor. 
That's really good. And no night penalties. What do we have here? Reveals all enemies if you have intel for the sector. Ah, that is dope. Major bonus to disarm traps. So she's not having the ranged attack um, reduction that bypasses armor. But I think we can still work with it because uh, we have a lot of the a lot of uh, the scopes that I've seen can actually bypass armor. So just double checking, health lower, slightly lower, agility about the same, dexterity higher, strength about the same, but wisdom substantially higher, uh, better mechanical as well. Marksman isn't that great, better. And she's she's almost an all-arounder. Okay, and the other mechanic uh, would be steroid, but steroid has a low wisdom, and I want a team that I can build up. So we're going this time with live wire. Hello there. Are you in need of my skills? And let's give her an offer. Good. And then finally, 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 I think we either go get an all arounder or we're creating a custom uh, mercenary and then add the all arounders. But might as well get an all arounder now. Um, let's see. Wisdom score is about equal on both of them. Igor has Wojny Zyrdownia uh, for extra grit and I totally like the melee attacks so that is great. Over here um, with uh, Steve we would have a heavy weapons guy and we can use both of them later. I actually would want to get both but we don't have the money for it so let's contact the good old Igor and uh, try to Igor. work Igor with him. Great mercenary, like uncle who is also great. What is job? You will not regret, Igor. Okay, well, listen guys, that sounds like a good first team. Let me turn the sound volume a bit down and we're going to do a couple of other things. Good, music volume a bit more adjusted. The game was actually quite loud. Uh, we have a command center and we have emails. We do not have emails yet. Good, well in that case, let's start. I don't want to use knowledge that I have gained. Uh, there is the option to create a custom mercenary, right? And I want to do that as soon as it is available. If I say I will be somewhere, then that is where I will be. That's just common courtesy. Good, and of course we're landing and um, our landing will not be a smooth one. Let's familiarize ourselves a bit with our team, shall we? So we got Igor here. Igor has a few pain mats. Uh, MD is maybe more uh, best oh no or this is the squad supplies never mind Igor's backpack is empty he does have a knife and a pistol Barry does have his uh, shape charges as well as uh, another pistol MD has a pistol life war has a pistol really poor start but the enemies won't have that much either we got one locksmith and a PDA. The PDA is um, is associated with her ability to automatically see all of the enemies when you do have intel. So what we're going to do is we're starting to hide. 
Um, one thing that I have forgotten to mention is, should um, mention that, uh, the wisdom is also the ability to notice hidden items and enemies in survival. And with explosive and wisdom high, Barry is the perfect person uh, to really scout uh, anything out. As of this moment. Yes. With certainty. Good. We're taking everybody. Hard to see. I will move silently. And let's see what we can loot. If we can loot anything. Definitely runs much smoother on this machine, so the game looks even better. Can't go to that part of the beach. We're moving? We're moving. I will go presently. Good, I think this was the first ambush and like I said, this is potentially as far as I've played it. Yeah, this and three more missions, of course. Okay, so let's remember what we wanted to do. Good sneakers are good old Igor, who's moving up here. Something over there. Trying to be quiet. Moving to here. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? They cannot hit what they cannot see. Honestly, I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Oh no 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 we don't want to be spotted. Like this? I believe. I will try to Good. MD is just not good at hiding. Let's call a spade a spade. It's already drawing attention again. Time for us to slice his neck. What? Well, apparently we have been spotted out. Uh, well, you can already assume that this is going to be a very common theme within this playthrough, dear uh, viewers. That I am going to bodge. Okay, so I think we could do that or drink that and get a little bit closer. Hmm. Don't have the AP to to go in and uh, do both. Let's sli uh, slice his neck. No! Insufficient action points. Well, that's going to hurt. Unless, of course, Mr. Unger decides to use his magic and we can move up to here I will do can't see anything um, 
How about we're just making sure that this guy is not going to get out? Okay, not a perfect first turn, quite the opposite. We are in cover, so... Let's see how this one is. And uh, that is not going to work at all. Bit of free movement for cover. Pretty good odds, I think. You're good. MD shows how it's done and I can't do it. Maybe someone better than me should take this shot. And how about we're just going to overwatch so that if this guy moves back, he will get hit as well. I think we're we're doing fine. He cannot crouch. Well, he can. Okay, that makes him a little bit harder to hit. That was a Not a fantastic we turn. You all. That was rude and painful. Order. Okay, well, I can tell you something. That was a mistake. Brutalize. So cool. <laughs> cool. I wish I could shoot like that. Ready to, um, do stuff. Good. Normal shot. We could also take a move to here and shoot at the same time. Severely wounded. I like it. I think I can, you know, get him. So there is no doubt in my mind that MD has has absolutely rocked it. Rather atypical for him, shall I say? Typically the one that is not doing so well. That I sincerely believe you are my best friend. Okay. Uh, manage squats. I would like the front line to be in the front. There you go. Good. MD present. Of course. Okay, for first engagement, not too Action. bad, not too shabby. Got a couple of mats. These are super valuable, so we don't want to waste them. Last um, playthrough, what I did is I definitely wasted too many of them. We have agreement. I think we should. Okay, let's check the rest of the area. Nice. Throwing pros to check tiles, these here are uh, glow sticks, flare sticks for night operations, that's helpful. Fine. And I'm low-key hoping that we're going to find a couple of healing of uh, herbs, but that hasn't happened yet. We do it. Good, what a tough landing. Go for glory. Go on inside. They are expecting. We should take a closer look Thank at this. God you made it. I wanted to warn you, but you were already en route. Legion forces have landed on Ernier. They even tried to attack us here at the villa. I can't imagine what they want with this tiny island. It is neither Ernie Island nor my villa they want. It is you. Perhaps they think capturing you would make your father more cooperative. Then I'm sorry I came. I didn't mean to put anyone else in jeopardy. I know how you feel. That's why I prefer bandages over bullets. <laughs> Have faith. Barry is here. We can handle them. I am so grateful to hear you say that. 
Grandjean's own government can't do a thing to help. I am reassured by your confidence. Here, please take this as a gesture of my appreciation. By the way, we're going to play a good mercenary, as in, we're not going to do any crook moves. I want to really um, play like a lawful, good ish character. Do we want to refuse that? We're not, we're not the Salvation Army, so thank You're you. You're welcome. Now, as to beginning your search, I suppose questioning the Legion soldiers on Ernier about my father would be a good way for you to start. This is Corazon Santiago. She's the director of operations in Grand Chien for the Adonis Corporation. Her people encountered the Legion face to face. She will manage additional funding while you are in the field. Good. I also wish to encounter enemy faces. Hello. It is good to meet you. As Emma said, I will provide you with a cut of the proceeds from the Adonis Diamond Mines to help fund your mission as you liberate each one from Legion control. If I am being completely honest, this would not be the first time I have liberated diamonds. But first things first. The Legion have overrun the island. Capturing the town and the old fortress. Liberating the town is essential to securing transport to the mainland. But securing the old island will ensure you have a good base of operations. Additionally, the locals may be appreciative and give useful intel. Very good. Any more details about the region? A man calling himself the Major. It is the largest paramilitary group in the region. They seized all our diamond mines before my security teams could respond. They are brutal bullies, but not smart or well-trained. They should be no match for professional soldiers. Our training is of exceeding professional. We will be victorious. <laughs> all right, goodbye. Corazon and I... I do not know what it is, but we should probably take so it. So you can find it. hackable devices as well. And those little devices then offer opportunities to gain money. In this case, it's 750, right? So you really want to look for those details left and right. As of this moment, how can I assist? There we go. We got another laptop here that gained us some more intel. Fantastic. I really believe it would be rude of us to leave anything behind. Wait, wait, wait. When is my 15 minute break? With certainty. Fine. Did we have a lockpick? Unlock stores and containers. Yes, please. Okay, so that would be needed to be crowbarred open. Sure. But maybe we'll find a crowbar. We're not done with the inspection yet. There are still Bastion. Um, we're going, we need right? to talk about. Or talk I with. We, found. we could always use more meds. I think this First armor. Love to see that. Ooh, la, la. Uh, don't shoot. I'm just a bystander here. An innocent civilian. I heard some shots fired at the uh, I came to take a look and I saw the Legion getting their asses kicked. I want you to know that I completely believe you. But I really don't think anyone else does. Uh, but I'm not with them. <laughs> I was just um, doing a bit of scavenging on the beach. Yeah, that's how I provide for my family. Civilian or really? Oh, you mean this gun here? It's just <laughs> it's just for protection, boss. These are dangerous times on the island. So you have a family? Oh yes, boss. A big family over in the rust. That's what we call the area just east of town. It's not a nice place. My boys cannot play football without tripping on old war equipment. <laughs> family is best important. Dolphages understand. Uh, they depend on me, you see. 
If I don't bring home the bacon, they don't eat. Ugh, my poor family. Is this a soccer shirt? <laughs> eh, hey, ouais. Chien Sauvage, the best team in Grand Chien. Their merchandise is shit, though. I asked for 13 and they printed 31. Tell us about the Legion. Well, that's the Patriotic Legion of Grand Chien. Quite a gang they are. I think some of them were trying to snatch that Emma girl, the president's daughter, but I guess that didn't work out. MD is a wisdom of 1494. Uh, you are with the Legion. No, 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 no. This is not true. Uh, don't shoot me, boss. I, I mean, maybe I had some dealings with the Legion in the past, but who doesn't? It's a small island. Look, just let me go to my family and I. I will give you diamonds from my secret stash. I swear. Hand over the diamonds. Die. Uh, I would like to have his gun, but I know that we can meet him again, and he might become useful. Uh, bien sûr. Please take these. I just found them on the beach. I swear. All yours now. I uh, I can go, and uh, you won't shoot me in the back. He still keeps his weapon. We'll get another AK. Good, so there are diamonds. We can cash them in if needed, but I would want to keep them for now because you can pay with them later. I think there are some items here we can use. Very good. More meds. And this is a first aid kit for I MD. You say I do it. We're moving. We're moving. Good. Was that the entire stash that he had? Um, we're going right. Hmm. Apparently, yes. Still a bit salty that we can't loot the container up there. Last time I had a crowbar, but apparently this is not the case this time. Of course. Maybe I will need sure. to come back we'll at there. a later stage. With certainty. Sure. Good. Anyways, uh, let's check our mails, and then we're going to we're going to call it a day. So we need to rescue the president, uh, and we also need to retake Ernie Village, which is going to happen next time. For now, go, yeah. we just gotta deal with what uh, we move is with uh, what we have. We only have pistols. We have very limited armor, but I think we're okay for now. If you enjoy a rumble in the jungle, feel free to consider uh, liking this and commenting. Have, I'm sure some of you have already played uh, Jack the Lions. Let me know what your starting uh, formation looked like. Have you taken similar mercenaries? And if so, what are you looking for in your mercenaries? Thanks and have a good day. See you in two days. Bye-bye.